Okay, uh, okay so, so let's move to the uh, final session of this webinar. Uh, the session 3 is a troubleshooting, troubleshoot, uh, about the troubleshoot. So I'd like to introduce uh, uh, Dr. Hideki Shiomi uh, from uh, Hyogo. Uh, I think uh, everyone knows him uh, very well. He's a very famous, uh, not only in Japan, but uh, also in the uh, many countries in Asia or in the world. Uh, he's a very good guy. Yeah, sure. So, uh, Dr. Shomi, could you please start? Okay, thank you, uh, Katerumwa. Uh, good evening, everyone. And uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to give this presentation. Uh, today, I will talk about minimally invasive treatment for malignant afferent root syndrome. Uh, this April, I moved to new hospital, Hyog College of Medicine. My transfer was a promotion, and I was not fired from Kobe University. Uh, it takes an hour from Kobe University to a uh, new hospital uh, by bicycle. It is only 20 kilometers and same prefecture. Uh, this photo is our start. Uh, the center of woman is our boss, uh, Professor Ijima. Uh, she is very kindly for me. Uh, I hope this team grows up in the future. Uh, please visit us when the uh, COVID-19 was overcome. Oh, let's start my presentation. Uh, afferent group syndrome is known as adverse events following ripple surgery. Uh, the uh, ALS is defined as a mechanical obstruction at the afferent rib. Uh, the mechanism is that first on the afferent rib obstruction occurred by cancer recurrence. Uh, subsequently, uh, the afferent rib is distended due to the accumulation of biliary, pancreatic, and uh, enteric section, secretion. As a result, uh, interluminal pressure is increased. Uh, the outflow of bile and pancreatic juice is obstructed result in ascending cholangitis and pancreatitis. Early and effective treatment is required because a patient gets severe condition immediately. While surgical management has uh, been standardly uh, applied, it is undesirable uh, for patients with advanced oncological setting. Thus, patients in poor condition and with limited prognosis tend to prefer less invasive treatment. There are three minimally invasive treatments for malignant ALS, uh, which are uh, percutaneous drainage and uh, endoscopic drainage and uh, US guided drainage. Uh, Pactaneous drainage option include uh, pactaneous transhepatic biliary drainage and or uh, direct uh, pactaneous drainage of directed and uh, afferent ribs. Uh, uh, PTD is uh, minimal invasive and uh, reasonable for uh, treatment of the malignant ALS. However, the, this advantage includes a uh, reduction in QOL due to the external fistula and, and the risk of serious complications such as bacteremia due to ascending cholangitis, uh, hemobilia and the interperitoneal hemorrhage and uh, biliary peritonitis. Recently, uh, endoscopic enteral stenting has been widely used owing to the development of treatment tool uh, such as device and the baron enteroscopy. 
Uh, this procedure includes uh, a plastic sense or metal sense placement. Uh, in this retrospective study, uh, 73 of patients who underwent endoscopic plastic stent placement for malignant ALS and successful clinical outcome. However, uh, and, uh, among these, recurrence occurred in 75% uh, of patients requiring PTBD. Uh, plastic stent is easily placed into enteric uh, structure but the frequency of stent obstruction is high due to the small diameter. Uh, we reported a case series of seven patients who underwent endoscopic enteral stem placement for malignant or ALS after pancreatic deonectomy. Uh, all the patients had successful clinical outcome with no advanced event, uh, no stent dysfunction is observed in this patient uh, prior to death. Uh, these results indicated that the endoscopic entire uh, same placement is effective and safe for the treatment of malignant ALS. Uh, same placement is preferred over plastic stent uh, placement to achieve clinical success and avoid recurrence. Uh, however, uh, the endoscopic enteral stems uh, placement across the structure is sometimes challenging. Uh, as a reason, uh, if uh, the long afferent, afferent limb, the scope cannot reach the structure and or if the long structure segment, the guide wire cannot pass through the structure. And uh, if enteric type angulation, the device cannot pass through the working channel of scope. Uh, to overcome this limitation, an uh, alternative approach to treat uh, malignant ALS is needed. As minimally invasive approach, it is being reported endoscopic ultrasound guided gastroenterostomy. Uh, USGE is an innovative bypass technique involving the development of metal stent without passing through the, uh, the intestinal structure and the use of the lumen opposite metal stent or arms, uh, which has further improved efficacy and safety. An electrocotary enhanced uh, RAMS or EC RAMS technique has recently been developed, uh, which involves uh, attachment to a cotary wire at the tips of the delivery system. And EC RAMS uh, facilitates the procedure through allowing the single step puncture or dilatation and or deployment of the stent. Therefore, uh, EC rounds can be uh, shortening the procedure time and uh, potentially reducing the risk of leakage. Uh, this slide shows the retrospective comparative study uh, of USGE and endoscopic uh, enteral stems in patients with malignant ALS. A clinical success was significantly higher in USGE group than in endoscopic enteral stems placement group in terms of complete symptom resolution rate. Uh, there are no adverse events. Uh, difference is in the technical success rate, uh, adverse event rate, or procedure time between the two groups. However, uh, the need for the intervention was significantly lower in USGE group than in the endoscopic enteral same placement group. Uh, USG with RAMS 
has the potential advantage of drainage without crossing the structure of afferent rim. Uh, USG with ramps may have a more favorable outcome than uh, endoscopic internal stenting. However, RAMS is only available for world of necrosis, but not uh, available for ALS in Japan. Uh, the Japanese government does not approve the use of the RAMS except for the one cases. Therefore, we invented uh, free cover cells with antimicration, which is a large root double pigtail plastic scent with the free cover cells. We use uh, seven French large loop double pigtail plastic stent produced by Medicrop. Uh, loop diameter is uh, 25 mm. Here in, uh, we will present a case of USGE using the modified stent system. A 73 years old who had undergone a pancreatic diodectomy for pancreatic cancer is receiving uh, the chemotherapy as a post adjuvant therapy. He has admitted to our hospital complaining of fever and abdominal pain. CT showed uh, marked the duration of the afferent rib caused by local recurrence of the cancer. A plastic stent were pressed into the dilated afferent rim using a barrel assist enteroscope, but his clinical condition did not improve. We attempt USGE. Uh, the dilated afferent root was punctured from stomach with using a 90 gauge needle uh, through which contrast medium is injected to confirm afferent root. Uh, guide wire was inserted. A cautery dilator was used to, to make an incision into the needle tract and for MM, uh, baron caster was used to, to dilate it. Uh, 10 mm by 8 cm free cover cells was deployed to oppose the uh, dilated afferent root and the stomach. Uh, the seven uh, French by eight cm large loop double pigtail stent was pressed through the free cover cells to prevent stent migration. On the free cover cells and the US guidance and the direct endoscopic guidance. Or insertion of the double pigtail plastic stent. The patient symptom rapidly disappeared. Uh, CT 10 days after the procedure showed the improvement of the directed afferent loop. We experienced seven patients who underwent USGE using modified free cover cells for ALS. All patients, uh, all the patient has successful technical and clinical outcome. One patient had mild abdominal pain, but there are no patient with stent migration and leakage of fluid. A no stent dysfunction was uh, observed uh, in these patients during follow-up. 
Uh, in summary, uh, USG has a better clinical outcome than endoscopic enteral stem placements or PTBD. Free cover cell combined with large loop double big cell stent is helpful in preventing stent migration and leakage of fluid, like a lamp. And the prospect to randomized control trial are necessary to establish uh, USG as the standard treatment for ALS. Uh, thank you for kind attention. Uh, next year, I hope we have discussion and campaign. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Shomi, uh, for introducing us a uh, uh, very complicated cases. Okay, so questions from uh, Dong Hyun. Yeah, uh, thank you for your excellent talk. Uh, uh, in Korea, it's a very similar situation. Before I submit uh, some RAMs for uh, ALO syndrome in government, is we are also reject for the, the new technology or something. So. Uh, it's very disappointed for problem in, in Korea. It's not approved for the RAMS for uh, uh, Aero syndrome. Uh, I think this, uh, your um, stent is very uh, useful for, but I think some is, uh, ranks is more important because uh, after the compression of the it's a bowel, the, the light bowel, there is a far away from the stomach, maybe a possible chance of the some uh, stent migration. I think yeah. maybe uh, ACM or CANCM is more better. Another concern is uh, even though I performed the hepatic gastro, is uh, you know is a push and the stomach through the river. At the time there is uh, wow. some a gap over this maybe possible there. But it's uh, yeah. even though we have a cover of metastem, there are possible chance of the crack over some hole maybe. Yeah. Isn't there is a cover membrane, but it's a possible chance of some crack is there, I think. There's, at the time, uh, some uh, fluid or uh, spillage of, from the uh, peritoneal cavity, mm. or I think so maybe uh, HGS, or I think so it's uh, even gastroenterostomy uh, you know, for the ALO syndrome. So uh, I think it might be uh, additional, uh, uh, not so uh, a drain tube mm. inside of there. I think it's more. So safer mm. and it's a, a stand alone, I think, for this problem because uh, you know, prevention of the some leak or something, I think. Mm. What's your opinion? Sorry. Uh -huh. And uh, in short, uh, and, uh, plus, and uh, you mean that uh, in short, uh, uh, the plastic stand or uh, metal stand and the through the metal stain. Yeah, I mean, uh, you has a plastic and uh, metal and plastic. I have additional, not so ah, many ad tube, additional. Ah, additional. Uh, yeah. During that tube and uh, through the full cover right. right. Metal stain. Right. Metal, metal stain. Yeah. I agree that you are uh, the uh, opinion. And uh, firstly, the, I recommend uh, and uh, another biliary tube uh, to through the uh, the cow metal stand, and uh, we check the injector and the uh, contrast medium inject. I uh, check to confirm the and uh, the leakage or another uh, uh, problem. Okay. Okay. So question from uh, Dr. Matsumoto. Good. Thank you very much. A nice okay. presentation. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the indications of USGE for patient with ascites? Okay. Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, for ascites, uh, the previous report indicated uh, the USGE uh, could be performed in case involving small amount of ascites or no presence of ascites between the stomach and the dilated afferent uh, root. But massive ascites uh, mm. should be avoided procedure because of risk of the stent migration and uh, the leakage of fluid. 
Okay, thank you. So, uh, what kind of stand do you use? So, braided type or laser cut no. type? Yeah, uh, I usually uh, use uh, braided type, but uh, the doctor will mention uh, the laser cut type uh, is uh, uh, the prevent uh, uh, the migration. Uh, the next case, we try to the <clears throat> USD are uh, using the Oreza cut uh, metal stand. Okay. Uh, the, Dr. Shemi, your, your idea is, I think, uh, very nice. Uh, but I have uh, one question. Uh, you know, uh, I think it has a potential risk of uh, stand uh, migration mm. during the, uh, you know, uh, plastic stand uh, uh, deployment procedures. You know, uh, ah. Yes, ah, yes. Ah. <laughs> what, what, what do you think? Yeah, I, I have experience of uh, 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 such a station in USGBD. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, I have no experience, but uh, you, you know, uh, the, uh, the smoothly or uh, yes. uh, and, uh, fine and uh, insert uh, uh, the double pixel stain. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, time is up, so thank you very much, Dr. Xiaomi. Uh, the uh, program is uh, all finished, all lectures are finished, so uh, thank you very much for all uh, uh, presenter and uh, panelists.